wilderness to be wandered at. With pristine rivers and streams, where nature can thrive and we get to unwind. Or at least, that's how it's meant to be. If we start destroying biodiversity in these systems because of chemical pollution, we're not going to be able to recover them. Would you swim in it? No, absolutely not. The water quality, even in national parks, is really not fit for purpose for humans and certainly not for nature. With the fresh, clean air coming across the hills and dales and the rivers and lakes. Celebrated for 75 years as precious and protected spaces. But national parks will be open and free, like the country you're looking at now. But now there's a stark warning from scientists behind a major study on farmer pollution in England's national parks. The results of this study showed seven drugs at levels high enough to be of ecotoxicological concern for fish, invertebrates and algae. Levels high enough, in fact. The study warns there could also be a risk to human health. When we take a medicine, we take it into our body, you'll have a receptor, the medicine will dock with the receptor, and that will then have the therapeutic effect. Now, the problem is a lot of organisms in the environment have the same receptors that we have. In his lab at York University, Alistair Boxall is regarded as one of the world's leading authorities on the impact of medicines on water ecosystems. So if in many species there are receptors that mean that these drugs will have some kind of impact, what, we end up with two-headed fish or something like that? There are, there are examples where if you expose fish to um, hormones, for example, so synthetic hormones that we use for birth control, um, that can affect change the sex of male fish. It can affect reproduction, it can affect growth, it can affect behaviour, so antidepressants. Increasingly, people have been asking, you know, how much sewage is in the water? But actually, should we also be asking, what's in the sewage itself? Sewage doesn't just contain bacteria, the things that you, know, you see in the news. It contains a real complex mixture of chemicals that we as society are pouring down the drain. His research findings being published tomorrow give an unprecedented insight into the impact of farmer pollution. Water samples taken in winter and summer from 37 rivers across the 10 national parks in England were tested for at least 50 common medications, including painkillers, antibiotics and drugs used to treat epilepsy and diabetes. The results showed widespread contamination affecting 96% of the test locations. The Peak District in Exmoor had places with higher concentrations of some drugs than they previously found in London, Leeds and Belfast. Tideswell had the worst test results, with the antibiotic clarithromycin at almost three times the limit suggested by the European Commission and at levels of concern for human health, according to this study. Just upstream from that site is the sewage works for Tideswell. In bigger places, there are tougher legal standards for treating wastewater, with the requirements based on population size, not visitor numbers. Plus, there's a storm overflow. Published data shows untreated sewage being pumped out here, on average, 100 times a year. Seven Trent, which runs this wastewater site, didn't want to comment. Instead, the industry body, Water UK, told us water companies have plans to spend more than 100 billion on improvements, which need the OK from Ofwat, and that pharmaceutical companies should be made to cover the costs of stopping pollution from their products. The sewage treatment works is just about 100 metres up in that direction. And then the brook, when it comes down here, crosses underneath the road, and comes out here. And on this side, this area has extra legal protections because it's a site of special scientific interest. It is perverse that you're in the middle of a national park with the highest level of protection, and yet the sewage works for small villages like Tideswell don't need to be sophisticated, don't need to offer advanced treatment. Uh, and this loophole is allowing rivers to get polluted. This study has shown that the water quality, even in national parks, is really not fit for purpose for humans and certainly not for nature. 
The Environment Agency says it's working closely with the water industry to better understand how pharmaceuticals affect the water environment and says there's tough action when rules are broken. Tonight, calls from the scientists behind this research for more monitoring of drug pollution are being backed by the Peak District National Park Authority, which says the pollution in these precious and protected spaces is shocking.